Hi everyone, this is Tom from New Tropical Design Studio. I'm just going to talk to you today about how to use ligatures and alternate characters in Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and Canva. So you can see here, I've got my font and it contains ligatures. So you see the MO is joined, the ST is joined, the ERS is joined. So these are called lig ligatures when one glyph becomes two letters, so the M and the O. So if you just go to window, type, and open type, you pull up this little guy here, and if you just click on the bottom left, the F5 button toggles the ligatures on and off. It should automatically be on, but if it's not on, that's how you turn it on and off. Super simple, you can even highlight parts you want to change, like the M and the O. And just turn it off for certain parts of the text. Now, you can also access alternate characters. So I've highlighted the S here, and you can see in the little drop down, you can change it to a different style of S. Now, if you want to see all your glyphs, go to Window, Type, Glyphs, and this shows you all the alternates that you can have here. So you can also just double click on there to add in alternate letters. Now, let's go to Photoshop. So, here we have Costa del Sol. Now, all you have to do is highlight that and go to Type, down to Open Type and Standard Ligatures on. And you'll see that it all changes. Now, Again, if you want to get alternate characters, all you have to do is highlight it and it will come up like that. You can also go to Glyphs, Window, Glyphs, and that will bring up all the options you have for the font. Now that is pretty easy. Now, let's find Canva. So, Canva here, you have to upload the font first. We're going to upload a font. Now, I put it in here. Costa del Sol, just upload the OTF font. Please confirm the following. Yes, I have the right to use this. And you get to upload it. Now, Canva is not a high quality design software like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. So you have to do something a little bit different to get to work. Uh, let's just go to a new design and this change the type to Costa del Sol regular. Okay. Now, let's type in Costa. Now, you cannot just highlight them and get the ligatures, which is really annoying. So what you have to do is go to Applications, Font Book for Mac, and it's the same thing for PC, but it's called Character Map. So we've got our font book open, and we've gone to Costa del Sol. Now this has brought up all the options of the characters and the ligatures. Now, if you can't see them, see this button up the top left here? That's just the basic preview. That is the full character set. So you've got to toggle between them to see all the characters. Now, let's find the CO ligature, which is right here. And we should be able to just copy that and paste it into there and you've got the ligature. Now we could go back to the font book and we'll find the ST which is around here somewhere. I cannot see it. It's got to be here somewhere. ST, there it is. Now if we copy that one and we can paste it in too. So 
it's that simple. Uh, it's not as simple as Illustrator or Photoshop. It's a bit of a workaround, but that's the only way to do it in Canva. So same thing with alternate characters in Canva. So you want to change that S. You have to go back to your font book, find the S you want, which is this one. Copy that, paste it in. And there you go. Um, that is how you do it, and it's pretty easy. So I hope you enjoy it, and thank you.